What is going on? My name is Nolan Brooks, and I am here with my main man, Kramer Sansone. And we are back for another episode of First and Gone. Yes, we are. How are you doing this week? Not too bad. I can't wait for the week to be over with. Yeah, I feel you. Yep. I feel you. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is this Northwest versus Duke game. This is this is huge for a school like Northwest. Exactly. Uh, I mean, we're the top dogs in Division Two for basketball, so you know we got a big target on our back. But now we're going to play a top dog in Division One basketball in Duke. So I'm I'm real excited for I'm, the game. I'm, I'm really excited for this game too. It's just like the top of D1, the top of D2 mm-hmm. colliding. I mean, of course, you know. Who, possible outcome would be but still this is like really really good for the d2 program of northwest yeah going to basically find out what it takes to be d1 yeah yeah uh the biggest odds for this game are 38 points in favor of duke so it's, not great odds. I mean, it's not it's not great odds but no. i mean it could be worse exactly it could be exactly. like 58 yeah but 38's so, not bad. I don't know. 38's manageable, and I know I know that everyone everyone in the North pl- West players are they're going to be fighting. They're going to want to win that game. Yeah, they're they're going to be fighting. So, I, you know, obviously, there's going to be nerves playing Duke. Cause, I mean, I mean, yeah. I, obviously, they probably all watch them on television. So oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's it's it, going to be cool for them. Yeah, it would. Um, Northwest. Throw some stats at you real quick. Northwest last year averaged seventy eight point four points per game. Duke averaged eighty point eight points per game. Now that's close. That's close. Granted, Duke plays Division One teams. Northwest doesn't. True. So you can tell why that that's kind of like irrelevant as far as those two points. And also, granted too, there's a different starting five for Duke every single year. Exactly. Exactly. They're sending people to the draft. Northwest has people around for about four years. All four years, yep. basically. So I want to know who you got for players that you want to like keep your eye on for this game. Um, uh, I'll and I'll start with uh, okay, with Northwest. I mean, of course, everybody's gonna say Justin Pitts. Throw him out there. Yes. I mean, he's the MIAA Player of the Year last year, and if he keeps playing like he did last year to mm-hmm. this year, I can see him win that twice. Um, obviously, because like I mean, averaged twenty point nine points per game last year, five point one assist and three rebounds. That's n- decent for a point guard for yeah. Division Two. It's pretty good. Um, and also, I also want to get a look on uh, Joey with us. Yes. Uh, he started every single game he played for in Minnesota, yep. and he's gonna be put in the starting, hopefully in the starting lineup uh, for Northwest. And he's just mm-hmm. that other guy that's capable of shooting and. Basically, another threat on the our offense that we need because we need the three three point shot yeah. like we had last year, and he can bring that with us. He's got some size too. I mean, he he's does. six six. That's pretty good size. I mean, if you put you could put him at shooting guard or at small, small forward. Yeah. So I don't know. He he could be a good weapon. Um, now for me for Northwest, Pitts and with this, like you just said, you know, same boat there. Uh, I also want to keep an eye on Chris. Ibu and Dow. Yeah. He's now he's not gonna be as big as some of the big men for as Duke. But Chris does shoot pretty well he's for a big man. Sh- yeah, he shoots pretty well and very athletic. Exactly. He's he's got speed, he's got he's got I mean he's uh, he's yeah. He's beefed up for <laughs> yeah six six, so I wanna keep an eye on him. Now, as far as Duke, uh Grayson Allen, that that that's gonna be a given. I mean Veteran leader coming back yep. for his senior year, so keep an eye on him. Uh, new new kids on the block for Duke are going to be scary. Uh, Trayvon Duvall, I believe he is the number two recruit in the 2017 class. Uh, <laughs> he's very, very good. He He's quick. He can handle the ball. He can shoot. I mean, he, he does everything, and if you're going to be good nowadays, you got to do everything, and he I think he does that. And then Marvin Bagley the third, that that dude is a freak of nature. 
He graduated a year early just so he could go to Duke. See, I didn't know you could graduate a year early yep. in high school. I mean, if, if he he got all the grades he needed and all the classes That's he true. needed, so he moved ahead so he could play a year. I mean, why not? And, I mean, he's obviously one of those names where he's going to be in conversation for one and done. Oh, so easily. I can see why he wants to get a year of college ball in. And that's why I'm keeping my eye on him. He is, he's going to be good. See, for Duke, for me, of course, uh, Grayson Allen, yep. the, the veteran senior coming in. I mean, everything runs through him. Yep. And he's a very, very good point guard. Yeah. He's a ball handler, and he can also sh- uh, shockingly surprise you with a shot because mm-hmm. I bet everything, everybody's going to be guarding either either Marvin or Trayvon in the either the paint or the outside. Nobody's going to look at Grayson mm-hmm. Allen. He's also six foot five. That's pretty big for a point guard. And but Pitts is what five ten. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's gonna be. Yeah. I, I will. I will actually like this competition because Justin mm-hmm. Pitts plays really big for his size. Oh yeah. So he's not scared. Uh. Uh-uh. No, he's not scared at all. But also, I have. Uh, I mean, Marvin Marvin Bagley and uh, Trayvon Duvall. He's. I mean, you show me the videos beforehand and. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're scary. Wow. Yeah. There's. It's. It's gonna be. A fun experience for him, though. That, how often do you hear about small Division two schools that make a big name for themselves getting to go play somebody like Duke? Exactly. So, I hope we win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously, I hope Northwest wins. But, you know, I hope they enjoy every minute they get out there. And good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck to them. All righty. <laughs>